Hey everyone, it's Kabir here. So in this session, we are going to understand about life cycle methods. What are the life cycle methods that we have in the React? So what I thought, let's make a notes and I would be explaining you everything about life cycle methods in this session. So let us start with life cycle methods. So what is life cycle methods? Life cycle methods are a special functions, which is given by your React JS people. And these functions are going to trigger during mounting and unmounting of your component. See, whenever your component is going to render in your DOM, right? Some special functions are going to execute before mounting and after mounting as well. Now you have mounted your component. Now suppose you are updating your component. Whenever you are going to update your component, it means you are going to re-render your component right in the DOM. And during this phase also, some special functions are going to execute, right? Now, once your component has been rendered, now you want to remove that component from the DOM, right? So during this phase as well, some components are going to execute. I mean, some functions are going to execute and this special functions are called life cycle function life cycle methods of your class components right so what is mounting mounting is the process of rendering your component right it is a process of rendering your component into the dom mounting is nothing but it is the process of rendering your component into the DOM. Whenever a component is going to render, uh, some special functions are going to execute, right? In the same way, what is unmounting? Unmounting is nothing but removing the component from your DOM. So before uh, removing your component, if you want to perform some operations, right? That operations logic you can write in one special method called component will unmount. In the same way, we have some uh, special functions, right? And that special functions are called life cycle methods. That's cool. So we have divided these things in three phases. The first phase is called mounting, right? Second phase is called updating. Mounting is nothing but mounting your component. Updating is nothing but updating your component. And third phase is called unmounting is nothing but unmounting your component. So what are that special functions? During mounting phase, So in the mounting phase, there are some life cycle methods which are going to trigger, right? So that I have been list listed here from the line number 41, 14 to the line number 18. What are the methods? It is going to, whenever a component is going to mount on your DOM, which is nothing but whenever a component is going to render in your DOM, the first method it is going to execute that is constructor. Then after constructor, it is going to trigger get derived state from props then rendering it's not rendering it's render then component did mount these are the four methods which are going to trigger during the mount and mounting phase in the same way when you are going to update a component then whenever you are updating a component it is nothing but it is re-rendering the component in the DOM and during that phase five methods are going to trigger that is nothing but get derived state from props component should update render get snapshot before update and component did update in the same way whenever we are going to remove the component from the dom that time one function is going to trigger life cycle method that is nothing but component will unmount so these are the few methods like these are the complete methods of life cycle which are going to trigger during your mounting and unmounting phase so we will be deep dying everything in the next session we'll be understanding uh, through coding how these are going to execute right so that's all for this session thank you guys